Placing boxes can be very hard for people if you have never learned how. To help you on your way to great box placement, here a comprehensive guide on some of the basic placement tips and tricks everyone should know. The first trick is the most basic one. How do you place a large box into a corner? To place the box in a corner, stand in the other corner of the wall that you're trying to place it against. Begin the placing by sticking the box into the wall and slowly moving it out. Once it pops out, push it back into the corner until it doesn't move anymore. This might take some time getting a feeling for it. Another important thing with placement is don't rush it. You usually have the time to make it precise as fucking something up is always worse than just taking some more time. If you do this three more times, you can build a circle of four large boxes. Next, we get into something that many people probably won't even know is possible. Have a triangle that you will later want your TC in. Place the TC flat against the wall and about 2 cm or 1 inch away from this line. Now, if you step back and place a furnace deep into this corner, you will be able to place a window in front. When starting off the wipe, the builder won't always be the first one at building spot. For this to not be a problem, being able to place the TC correctly is very important. Let's say this will be your TC room. Stand in either back corner of the loot room and look to the other one. There you will place your TC, move your mouse and push it against the back wall. Then move to the side to move the TC partly into the side wall. As you can see, it's perfectly into the corner, leaving you with as much space as possible. When placing a workbench against the wall, something that I like to do is add an extra campfire to the wall to not waste any space. But you aren't to place it here. Only when placing the campfire first will it work. Remember this when trying to place something. The order in which you place your deployables can matter a lot. Now to one of the mistakes I see the most. When placing a barbecue, there are two options. Either with the lid opening towards the thing you're trying to place it against or away from it like this. When looking at it from the side, you can clearly see the difference. When the lid opens away, there is way less of a gap, meaning more space. This is not how it's supposed to look, as the lid opens towards the wall. This is what you want, the lid away from the wall. Especially solos and duos often struggle getting enough low grade, as they often don't have a compound, a refinery can be very risky. But for this, you can simply add a small add-on to your base, in the form of either a square like this with two walls and a door, or two triangles, depending on the base design. I would usually leave these foundations uncovered, but upgrade it to metal, as this will make soft setting them pretty hard, but not cost you a lot of extra resources for the extra walls. Have this door opening to the outside, as usually people won't bother raiding your refinery if you don't just let it run for ages. Now to furnaces. In all square bases, or bases that don't have any possibilities for usable honeycomb, placing 8 furnaces like this into one square can be very helpful to give enough smelting capabilities. For placement, begin by placing two furnaces in each corner, then one in the center. Repeat with two furnaces into these corners, and then one in between and then two more into the corners. At the end you have 8 furnaces in a 1x1, one one, which are non-accessible from the outside. Drop boxes can be added for extra storage, which could carry wood or ores for your furnaces. Next, 3 furnaces in a triangle. This is a very simple one. The first one goes into the corner, away from where you want to access them from. And then simply the other two mirrored into the corners the furnace makes with the other walls. If you place them before the window for example, you will be able to place extra drop boxes for storage here as well. For dropbox placement, the side of the wall you place it from can matter a lot. Placing one from the side and one from the outside, you can see that the one placed from the outside sticks in a lot less, meaning more space on the inside. Everyone come and join my discord, it is very epic. Many thanks to Alliator and Rusty Stongs for supporting the channel by becoming members. I hope you enjoyed the video, until next time, later!